Hi guys, it's Petrina, your go-to girl for learning how to make fit work in a crazy busy world. And today I've got a crazy good review and tutorial of something I'm giving a try for the first time, and that is Bedrock and Bloom's Smart Ash. If you're wondering what the heck Smart Ash is, it is a charcoal-based teeth whitener and detoxifier. And before we get started, I wanted to give you a little background on my choppers. If you're the observant sort here on my channel, you know that I am not the spokesperson for shiny, gleamy white teeth. I have had teeth issues ever since I was an itty bitty girl. And that's because when I was a baby, I came down with pneumonia and got treated with tetracycline. And one of the nastiest side effects of tetracycline is it can stain your teeth permanently. And that's what happened to me. Problem became worse when I played baseball. My two front teeth got hit and nearly knocked out, killed the root, made them so discolored and embarrassing I would not give a full-blown smile, ever. So growing up, anytime a cameraman said cheese, this is the smile they got from me. I did not want to show off my teeth. Fast forward about three decades, I finally got the two front teeth fixed and bonded, but I still don't have a blazing white smile. Now I will bleach my teeth from time to time with home bleaches. And one of the downsides of bleaching your teeth is it really does strip some of the enamel away and make your teeth more sensitive. So when I first heard of this recently, I went on Amazon and grabbed me a bottle to give it a try. I was very intrigued by the claims that it whitens your teeth, cleans and detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, strengthens your teeth, and restores. Now Smart Ash is supposed to be a non-abrasive tooth whitening powder that's actually good for your teeth. The only things in this jar are activated coconut shell charcoal, and try saying that three times fast, all natural calcium bentonite clay, certified organic mint, certified organic orange peel, and certified organic frankincense. Is there in this thing too. Bonus points for the fact that it is made in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, in case you're wondering how long a little jar like this is going to last, according to the jar, this is a six month supply if you use it daily. And no, you don't have to use it daily. I probably won't just because it is going to be a messy affair each day and I'll show you why. Oh wow, gosh. As soon as you open it, there was a little bit of like um, powder dust floating up. And yes, you're seeing correctly, that is black charcoal. So this stuff can get really messy. I'm a little bit nervous to try this. I'm going to wear a black shirt and do it. I'll try to tape a little demo for you guys so you can see. I'm hoping that I won't get charcoal all over the place in doing this. This is going to be really cool and amazing by the fact that this dark black stuff is actually supposed to whiten your teeth. That's crazy. So let's go to the bathroom and check this stuff out. Right, so here we are. Welcome to my bathroom. I'm wearing a shirt. I have worn a black shirt with white lettering, which I'm hoping I will not regret later. Um, but I've got my jar. I have set a washcloth onto the sink. I'm opening the jar. And how it works is I'm going to dampen my toothbrush. I'm gonna put a little bit of running water in. And then I am going to dip the bristles into the powder. Now the instructions say that a little goes a long way, so I'm not gonna do it too hard. I'm just um, a little bit. So I'm just dipping it in to get a little bit, and then I'm going to gently brush my teeth for two minutes. Two minutes is a long time. <laughs> <laughs> now, after you get done brushing for two minutes, then you're supposed to brush again with water, which I haven't shown you, and then spit with like really meager force out so you don't make a huge black mess in your bathroom. One of the tips they give you is if you really don't want to clean up after a mess or stress about it, is to go ahead and do this in the shower, or if you have kids and you're having them use it, have them do it in the bathtub. And yes, it can get messy, but it's pretty easy to clean up, especially if you have a washcloth nearby. I've got to say, while brushing, I didn't taste any mint or orange peel, uh, but after I've rinsed out and everything, now I can have like a little hint of mint and orange peel, so that, that was interesting. I've got to say, my teeth do feel really super clean. I think it's too soon to tell whether or not it's a definite winner when when it comes to whitening teeth. Uh, I may put an update um, after using it for a little while on the YouTube channel. If not, because things happen and I forget and get spacey, 
You can shoot me an email at coachpetrina at yahoo.com if you want to learn more about the long-term experience with the Bedrock and Bloom. Now, this jar, the six-month supply, retails for about 30 bucks, if memory serves correctly, on Amazon. If you want to learn more about it and grab your own little jar, you can head on over to patriniham.com backslash smartash. That's S-M-A-R-T-A-S-H, and that's going to take you to the Amazon link which is where I picked up my Bedrock and Bloom. So that's it for this week's video, guys. It's pretty weird to be closing it up from my bathroom, but hey, I'm sure stranger things have happened in bathrooms, right? As always, take care and have a great week. Bye, guys.